Hello students and welcome to my channel. My name is Mr. Meshak Ngigi and welcome to Emats with Meshak Ngigi. Today we check a revision paper or a revision question from a question paper, a neck question paper and that is on newton ramson uh, method. So kindly subscribe if you are not subscribed, share and also comment on how these lessons are being helpful. Kindly like and also um, make sure it reaches as many people as it can. Now we have a question here uh, worth 11 marks and it says I uh, use Newton Ramson method to determine uh, the cube root okay of 7 correct to 5 decimal places. Now solution. So 1 we have to write our function so we shall let our x the value that you are finding is the cube root of what? Cube root of uh, cube root of 7 right? So it is the cube root of 7. So how do we remove the cube root from 7? We cube both sides, is it? So we shall find x cubed, uh, then, uh, then we cube uh, on the right hand side. So this cube and the cube root will cancel out, so you shall remain with x cubed equals to, equals to 7. Therefore, x cubed, uh, bringing 7 on this side, minus 7 will give you 0. So this will be the function that we shall be working with. Are you together? So you have to create a function, and this function is created in this form. All right? So if you are given, you are supposed to get the root of a certain number, you let it to be x to be that particular number, then get if it is square root, uh, squares and so on, or uh, cube and cube roots and so forth, just follow the same procedure for you to get your particular equation. So our fx, so we, let, we say, our, we let our fx now will be x cubed minus 7. So remember from our newton ramson method, we, it says for you to get a better approximation xn plus 1, it is given by xn minus the function f of xn, then divide by the first derivative of fxn. So therefore, we have to write this in terms of xn, so it is the same same function, really nothing changes, all right? So this one will be just be xn cubed minus 7. There is no x. Where we only have x is where you uh, substitute the xn, the, uh, the subscript, okay? Therefore, then we find the first derivative, xn. So this one will be given by, drop the power, reduce the power by 1. So we shall have 3xn, then this one will be what? It shall be squared. All right, together. So we are doing this because we want to find the equation of best approximation or the better approximation xn plus 1. So therefore, replacing this in the newton ramson uh, formula, it will be given by which is st uh, stated as this. So xn over f prime xn. Okay. So now uh, equals to, so our xn is just xn minus then I said, remember to always put your value of xn into brackets. So we shall have uh, xn cubed minus 7 over the first derivative is given by 3xn uh, squared. So this one is a fraction, this one is a whole number. So we can put it over 1. And the LCM of this term and this term is just x, uh, 3xn squared. Okay. And what we say is, since the LCM, the, uh, the values are not the same, the LCM is just the multiple of the two. Are we together? So therefore, if the, if the LCM is the multiple of the two, in real terms, we are saying, multiply this term here, multiply this term here, since they are not the same. So we shall have xn, 3xn squared minus xn into bracket cubed minus 7 over the LCM, which is 3x and what? 3x n squared. Open up the brackets. So x n times 3x n squared will be 3 x n. Since this one is squared and you have one here, so it will be cubed. Minus, open this bracket, x n cubed. Negative and negative gives you what? Positive. So plus 7 over 3 x n squared. Now this term and this term are the same. This one is 3 minus 1. So it gives you what? 
xn cubed plus 7 over 3xn squared. Now, this gives you the better approximation. And it is very important to use the better approximation. Reason being, it simplifies your work. Uh, basically, it just simplifies your work because what you shall now be replacing the values will be uh, just replacing the values directly to the function rather than replacing it here. When you have the value here, replace another value, then replace, no. Just put it in one fraction and you'll have your xn plus 1, the better approximation will be given in that form. Now, since you have not been given the first approximation, you always need to find the first approximation. And how do you find the first approximation? The first approximation is achieved by getting where uh, the values of x, by getting the average of the values of x, where there's a difference or there's a change in sign from a positive to a negative or negative to a positive. So we can take random values, uh, let's say from 1, and replace them in the function, okay? Replace them in this particular function. So therefore, uh, taking x equals to 1. So, and we have a function of fx, is this function here. So what do we have? So we shall have 1 cubed minus 7. What does it give us? 1 cubed is what? 1 minus 7. This one will give us negative, negative 6. So we have that. Let's take now x2, x equals to 2. So we'll have 2 cubed minus 7. What is 2 cubed? 2 times 2 times 2 gives us 8. 8 minus 7. And 8 minus 7 is what? 1. So students, is there a change between the outcome of the values? Yes. We have a negative value and we have a positive. And that has only occurred between the value 1 and uh, 1 and 2. Now remember this one is a cube root okay so and remember in newton ramson or numerical methods we are only interested with one root we're not going to get all the roots so it's just a, a root uh, for that particular function so therefore the, va the average so the average between the values of x gives us the first approximation so your first x was one then you have plus two then you divide by two that is 3 over 2, which gives us 1.1.5. So our first approximation is 1.1.5. So therefore, you shall replace your first approximation here, your x naught. We call it our x naught will be 1.1.5. That is your first, uh, first approximation. So now, taking now, we now get x1. So x1 will be given by 2, okay, then 1.5, then we get cubed plus 7 over 3, 1.5 squared. And together? Yes. So we have 2 into bracket, 1.5 into bracket cubed, uh, yes, cubed plus 7. Uh, we have an answer, then we divide by... 3 into bracket 1.5 uh, into bracket squared. Bracketing your values is very important because it enables you to, to really get some accurate uh, accurate values, especially when it comes to the squares. Eh? So we'll get 2.0370. Um, it is five decimal places, okay? So I can have four there. It's supposed to give you answer in five decimal places. Now we come to x2. It will be 2 into bracket 2.03704. Okay. Cubed plus 7 all over 3. 2.03704 into bracket squared. So what, that, uh, what does that give us? So we shall have 2 into bracket 2.03704. Uh, 704 uh, into bracket, then you cube it, then plus 7, have your answer, then divide by 3 into bracket, 2.03704 into bracket squared. And you'll get your value as 1.920. Three, four. 
So you can see there is no repetition of a value. Remember, we're supposed to get to go up to that value where you have a repetition. So again, we go to x3. We now replace this value. It will be 2 into bracket 1.92034 into bracket cubed, then plus 7 all over 3, uh, 1.92034 into bracket squared. So what does that give us? So we have 2 into bracket uh, 1.920 uh, 34 into bracket then you cube it then plus 7 you get your value then divide by uh, divide by 3 into bracket 1.920 into bracket uh, squared so you have 1.9129 uh, so we can have 6 there because it is 5 decimal places 21996 that is correct then we go to x4 there is still no repetition but at least we can have we can see we there's a possibility of us having a repetition but let's continue uh, cubed plus 7 all over 3 into bracket 1.91296 then you get what? you get squared okay so what does that give us into 1.91296 into bracket cubed then plus 7 get our value then you divide by 3 into 1.91296 into bracket squared right and you get your value as 1.912 ah, so we can see up to four decimal places the values are the same right together but we want it up to the fifth decimal place they should be the same so we go to our last term x5 maybe it is our last uh, then we go 1.91293 uh, cubed plus 7 all over 3 into bracket 1.91296 then squared and we see what that one gives us so we have so we have uh, the last one so it is 2 into bracket 1.91 Two nine three into bracket, then you cube it, then plus seven, you have your answer, then divide by three into bracket one point nine one two, then you have nine three, then into put into bracket, then you square. And therefore our answer is one point nine one two nine three in five decimal place. Therefore our answer has been repeated twice in five decimal place so therefore you have your root for the cube root for seven will be given by uh, by 1.91293 so that is it uh, for this particular question so at any point you have any question that appears in this form then the process of just calculating it will just appear as below so thank you and see you in the next lesson.